Well, welcome. I am delighted to have Madam Prime Minister here today. Great to see you again. We were just talking about the last time we met. I had the opportunity, which was a great opportunity, unrelated to anything having to do with foreign policy, that uh, for her to meet my, my granddaughters, who are bright young women of college and law school graduates who are still talking about their meeting with the Prime Minister. Thank you. And um, as we all know, we don't talk often much about it. Denmark is one of our greatest allies and uh, most reliable friends, closest friends, and on lockstep in every global issue that we've, that we've been engaged in. And uh, I understand today's Constitution Day. Yeah, it is. And, uh, it is. And, uh, and it's, uh, it reflects the fact that we have the same values. I mean, you know, I always talk about how it's about values where the country's organized around a certain set of values. And the Constitution Day is not dissimilar than our U.S. Constitution. And the idea that uh, there's a shared commitment to the core values and, uh, that gives us our strength. At least, that's what I believe. And together, we're working to protect those values, including uh, standing up for the people in Ukraine against the brutal aggression of the Russians. And uh, we've also addressing global challenges from promoting inclusive economic growth, the climate crisis. And uh, I want to thank you for your clean energy transition. I really mean it. And uh, together with NATO allies, we're taking steps to strengthen our shared security, including finishing our bilateral defense cooperation agreement that we're working on. And I want to thank you again, Madam Prime Minister, for making the effort to be here. We're anxious to see you. So welcome. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. President. It's really nice to see you again and uh, to be here. Um, uh, I would I would like to thank you for your leadership. Uh, I mean, from a European perspective, to have a president in the U.S. who is committed to the transatlantic alliance um, has always been extremely important, but I mean, nowadays, when war has returned to our continent in Europe, um, it is so important that uh, our allies and our friends, that we stick together and that we are united. Um, and we have truly been for now 15 months in Ukraine. We will, of course, continue from a Danish perspective, our very strong, strong support to Ukraine, but I'm looking forward to work even closer with you on defense and security. I would also like to thank you for your leadership on the green transition. I mean, you have brought US back to the fight against climate change, um, and you are doing it in a very um, interesting way because you, you, don't, you, you have high ambitions when it comes to climate change, but at the same time you insist on making sure that uh, Americans um, will have a job because of this. Uh, so uh, sustainable growth is, is so important. So thanks uh, for your leadership and thanks for welcoming us today. Well, I'm delighted to have you here. Thank you. Thank you all.